Now that the block has been line honed with the main girdle installed, it's being disassembled in order to install bearings. Mike's on the other side of the shop cleaning it up and getting it ready. We're going to do a little trick to the crank to improve the oil flow of the main bearing journals and the rods. It's called a chamfer. The factory crankshaft design has a shallow chamfer on the oil holes. The chamfer is a radius cut between the journal and the bore of the oil hole that aids with the oil supply's transition to the face of the bearing. On a DSM, it's not directional. It's concentric and an even shape all the way around. We're enlarging the length and the size of that chamfer so oil is applied over a larger surface area when it passes over the bearing. Some people insist on cutting these directional with a longer trailing edge, and that's fine. You just have to think about your oil supply wherever you're doing this. Oil flow is directional. The directional chamfer theory is that a trailing chamfer pulls the oil out across the bearing surface as the oil hole passes over it. There's little benefit in it pooling in front of the hole. This will indeed help oil delivery to the rod bearings, but there's no benefit to doing a directional chamfer on the crank's mains with the 4G63 block. I'll explain. The oil being supplied to the rods comes from the crankshaft's main journal oil holes. It's why they have a bearing with an oil groove against the block. The crankshaft itself is an oil gallery. Every 180 degrees, an oil hole on the crankshaft passes across the bearing, taking turns to maintain a consistent oil feed to the rods. Putting a trailing directional chamfer on the mains would actually pull the oil away from the oil supply holes and slow the oil flow. Grinding only a leading edge could cause it to scavenge oil from the flat halves of the main bearing surfaces. Putting a slightly larger but even chamfer on the mains centers that pressure drop directly over the oil hole and also increases the duration time of the oil supply over the grooved half of the main bearings. As for my setup, I'm not really worried about making them directional, and I don't care to micromanage this part of the build. Simply enlarging them is an improvement in my case. My engine will be going back together without balance shafts, and the block's oil pressure will be increased as a result because of the blocked off oil holes that used to keep the balance shafts oiled. I'll have higher oil pressure in the bottom half of my engine as a result. I prefer doing a full chamfer on the rod journals to relieve some of that extra oil pressure. My rods will be set up a bit on the looser side of things, and they're very heavy so they can benefit from that oil flow. This is where I want it to go. You'll need to decide on your build which type of chamfer to use based on your oil system and what, if any, changes that you've made to it. This is just one of a few different tricks to deal with higher oil pressure in a positive way. Now that the grinding's finished, it's time to polish the crankshaft. It's much easier than you'd think. My 150,000 mile old crankshaft was in excellent condition and literally no visible wear. Not unusual for a 6 bolt crank. We just chucked it up in the old south bend to give it an even pass between the fillets on all of the journals and seal surfaces using a handheld crank polisher. With the surface prepared, we measure the crank's main journals to get a baseline that we can compare the main bearings to. Next we measure the rod journals. After we get our measurements, the crankshaft gets another bath to clean all the junk out of it. Mike's finishing up the bearing installation. Once the mains are torqued down, we take measurements of each main bearing journal and compare it to the corresponding journals from the crankshaft. If you subtract the crank diameter from the bearing diameter, you end up with your oil clearances. You wrote it for me in blue print. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Appreciate that. Not a problem. Nice. Oh, you can have that. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousandths, man. Yeah. Two and a half max. I can't be happier with that. Yeah. I prefer them to be a little bit over the two thousand side, and that's oh, yeah. right where every yeah. last one of them are. Yeah, I'm usually preferable like two, 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 five. Right yeah, a little looser. Yeah. I mean, you know, like some of these guys will do like hardcore racing. They'll go up. You know, four or five.